one of the number one messages that I have for you is to investigate your motivations. So let's, let's just keep this super simple. All right, I just left the gym. I just had a great workout this morning. So let's just say your motivation is, you know, I wanna get back strong or I wanna, I wanna get in shape or, uh, you know, I wanna lose weight, whatever the motivation is. First of all, you can do it. First of all, like let's just, let's just establish that, that you can do it. But what I want you to do is to investigate the motivation, whether that's getting in the gym, uh, going back to school, uh, you know, starting this new business, uh, starting a new friendship, maybe being social more because you, know, you haven't been social, uh, maybe being social less because you've been too social, maybe traveling more because you haven't left, right? What I want you to do is to just investigate your motivation. And so when you investigate your motivations, here's what I mean. Are your motivations coming from lack and fear and hate and disgust and shame or are your motivations coming from love peace of mind joy inspiration harmony now if you go back and watch this video and you listen to how i said the, the emotions i said them how they feel and you heard them how they feel and your body received them how they feel so we have to think about that for a second okay if we can watch a random person on the internet talk about certain emotions and those certain emotions as soon as i hear them can trigger a response in my body wherever you are what is that that's vibration. That's the energetic vibration of the emotions. So if you think about it and you're making a goal out of the root of one of those emotions, your whole body is responding to that emotion. I'm making all of my decisions out of fear. Well, I'm moving out of fear now. My anxiety is gonna trigger when fear, when fear is, is happening. My perception of what's actually happening is based on fear. I'm not telling you, I'm not telling you something's wrong with you. I'm just telling you to investigate. But what happens if I'm making my decisions and my motivations based on there's already enough for me. I have an abundance mindset. I'm all, I've already won. I'm already winning. I'm already good enough. I'm already right where I need to be. Everything works out for me. Everything works out for me and my team. Even if we lose, we will learn from the loss. Even if we are set back, we'll take a moment to honor the setback and to see where we messed up and we'll adjust. So think about it like that. You have to always investigate what emotions you're using when you're making your motivations, when you're making your goals. Because some of those emotions bring you into a dissension and they bring you down. Some of those emotions bring you into an ascension, they bring you up. So just be mindful. Some of the ones that I really like to make sure that I'm choosing from is abundance, is love, is peace of mind, is calmness, is harmony. Now, can you always be in those places? No, you're not always going to be there. But from a very pragmatic standpoint, if you process and acknowledge some of the deeper and the darker emotions, because I believe in holistic health. So I don't believe in ignoring those emotions. I don't believe in getting over them. I don't believe in getting past them. I believe in fully sitting with them, making space for them, acknowledging them, and allowing them to pass naturally. You know, so if you're in a space of fear, it's okay to be in a space of fear. But let's not skip it and say, oh, we positive vibes only over here. No, 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 I'm in a place of fear. Now go deeper, why? Why am I in a place of fear? What's causing me to be in a place of fear? Do I have to be in a place of fear? Hmm. Do I have to be in a place of fear all day? Could I suspend it for, for an hour? Is that possible? Is that available to me? Hmm. Have I only kept this fear to myself? What if I shared this fear with some of the other people in my network and in my community? Well, what, what are, do they have the same fears? Hmm. Okay, and you can do that for each one of the little emotions. Instead of just allowing it to grab you, no, no, hold on. Let me process that. What's going on here? What is this? Hmm. What's available to me? You know? And that's, see, and that's where the freedom is. When we begin to investigate those, those emotions and those, those, uh, those feelings that come over us, 
that's where the freedom is. Thank you for your time today. I appreciate you watching this. If you've never watched uh, me talk before, my name is Sylvester McNutt III. I'm a best-selling author of eight books. I host the Free Your Energy podcast. Um, I'm also one of the founding experts of the Emotional Wellness app Mind. You can download the app in your app store uh, for Google or for iPhone. It's a great emotional wellness app where we support a lot of people. Uh, with that being said, if you want to dive into my books, you can visit SylvesterMcNutt.net and or Amazon. Uh, and with that being said, I'm so grateful for your time and I hope you continue to free your energy.